Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Zomboid. This time, I guess you'll notice my new ride. I got a new car. Like Will Smith at the very beginning of I Am Legend. And, uh, I'm thinking of heading back into West Point today and I'm gonna start scavenge some of the other resources. Now, in my main inventory, I've got a big hiking bag and I brought a couple of my tools in case if anything happens to my car while I'm gone. And you're gonna notice, actually a lot has changed. Well, it turns out that I had to load up another save file. Yes, in fact, I had set the zombies to be a bit too strong. So I went back out into my sandbox settings and I decided having superhuman zombie strength was not gonna work and I really need to make them normal strength. Because I was going through windows and I would get ambushed by zombies in like... And in about a second they would have killed me. Uh, so I gotta focus on driving straight here. But the thing is that Having the sports car has just made Zomboid so much easier to, I don't know, I guess pilot? Shoot, is my speed gauge working? Am I really going this fast? Wow. I've been getting like a lot more kills with this car than I, than I expected to. Anyway, before I was. I don't know if it's something about the uh, trunk condition and the, or sorry, the uh, hood condition or what now, but let's try it. Okay, I'm not getting as many kills. <laughs> But I was before, so I should be able to again soon. Oh, shoot, what are they doing to my hood? Wow, I didn't realize it was in that bad shape. I gotta be more careful with this. Um, yeah, I guess I could figure out which cars, like, take less damage from zombies getting bumped into them. But right now we're back in West Point, so let's get out the key. It's still daytime, so the zombies should be pretty much harmless. Yeah, we're still at, uh sort of I am legend status zombies. The one thing I, I am a little, uh, I guess miffed about is that I can't, um, I can't really, I can't really get it multiple cars back with me at once. Um, some of them have like one unlocked door and you can get in that one. Yeah, like this one did too. Now I could check the glove box here and see if it's got the key in it. Nah, that's unfortunate. Oh wow, there's actually an unlocking car sound now. Uh, another thing to say right now is that the game has just gotten updated to build 39. Experimental vehicle vehicle build 39. 39.5 to be really precise. Um, and I'm loving it right now. They made a couple, I think, UI FPS downgrades so that they could make the game altogether run faster, which is really what matters. So, I, I mean, everything feels pretty tight. Um, I like it. It's just that the UI might look a little bit choppy, but that's the reason why that's happening. Let's see, I gotta grab some water bottles. Yeah, so now I've started on a new save, and I, I wanted to keep as many other things the same as I could. The one thing I noticed is that since these zombies are very tough, uh, I'm gonna need a lot more knives to take them out, because knives are insta-kills. Um, and sometimes they'll kind of run up to me, even in the daytime, um, even when they should be really slow. So I'm just gonna keep trying to use this. Now, I've set them to normal strength. While I know that the I Am Legend zombies are fairly strong. Uh, superhuman just turned out to be way too strong. Like, they would just touch me. They would, like, fart on me and I'd die, so I didn't want that to happen. Uh, because I think that would feel kind of cheap. Next thing is I'm looking for are... Well, I would like to get a sledgehammer out of somebody's house or guns, if I could. Um... There we go. Sneak up on this guy. Now look at these nails. These will be good for later. Might need him for constructing a, uh, a nail bat. I also want to get up my melee skills, any kind of guard, something that's just going to protect me from swipes. Because even though that they're still just normal strength, it doesn't really make them any less of a threat. Because the main reason why I get killed in most of my playthroughs is because I just get swarmed. There's too many of them at a time. It's not like one zombie. So that kind of did surprise me, because I was in like episode 3 and everything. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. That's why I love this game. Like, you'll just... You'll just see shit. <laughs> Stuff just happens. Yeah, you know, like, too many of them run up on a house. I see hammer. I could use that, too. Yeah, it is a little choppy, but I'm like, that's okay, because, you know what, the rest of the game's FPS won't, won't go down. And that'll all be figured out eventually before too long. Oh, nice. Big sack of rice. It's gonna be really heavy, though. 
That's gonna feed me for a long time, though. I'm planning on living at the same villas as I start out in the last time. I drove myself over to the same place because I wanted to keep everything else preserved, everything else the same. Let's get all this, actually. Yeah, I could use all this. Huh, are they on this house? Do they even know I'm here yet? Looks like a few of them have heard me over here. Everything else is the same about the zombies. They still have really good sight and hearing. It's just they can't really use it against me in the day. They're kind of, like, uh, weakened in their strength. Let's see, fishing. I'll take an extra book and a newspaper. Not really my main priorities for this looting, though. Oh, wow. This room looks like something out of Twin Peaks. Video game. Oh, yeah, you know what? I could actually carry around a second bag with me now that I have the knife equipped. I'll do that. This looks like a guest room or something. Probably not much in here. Tissues, bleach. Bleach I may need. Tweezers. Let's get those. Mirror comb, bottle of disinfectant, that's good too. Bleach. Well, I'm surprised I'm finding this good stuff. I set the loot to rare. At least because I'm not on uh, too much time later. It's not like six months later or anything where loot is really, really rare. Okay. Going over here. I don't mind it though. It, it feels like, you know, maybe I don't know, a few weeks after the apocalypse. And I also have house alarms set to go. I'm looking forward to see if they incorporate, um, having, having car alarms be able to be set off by zombies. I do like having house alarms set off, though. Cause it just kind of adds, like, a, I don't know, a feeling of a second player being there. Even though that there's no one else there. It just makes the game feel more dynamic. Let's see. We're here. Nothing. Yeah, you get more horde movement. See, oh, auto manuals. I guess I'm going to start to find more auto books now that all that's out in the game. Uh, let's see, magazine, newspaper. Yeah, these will keep me entertained for a long time. Nice. Bath towel. I'll take a couple of those. I'm going to have to dry off. I don't have the uh, outdoorsman trait. Uh, bath towel. Bottle of disinfectant. I'll take that back too. Butter knife. Always good to have another extra knife. And I'll put away my auto manuals and stuff. Uh, you know, I, I think I got this game around the time that I got Neo Scavenger back when I was back when I was younger. I mean, it's been a while now since they've come out. I won't lie, but uh, both really good item, good, yeah, good games for inventory management. If that's your if that's your thing. Let's see, frying pan. TV dinner, cool. Alright, loot's okay, but not, like, too good. I would hate it if the loot were too good, because then it would just be easy. Okay. Um. Ah, oh, no, my knife is gone. Oops, dropped that one. Um, I think I got another one in here. You know, let's just equip a, a butter knife. I've got five, so it won't hurt me. I want to start to get up my skills against these zombies. If I can get them up in the day... Oh man, I keep accidentally doing it while they're down. Thanks again for the knife tips. Um... Uh, wow. Pimpin' purple van. Uh, I don't know why I'm spending so much time over here. There's so There's too many of you. Let's go back over here. Where there are fewer. Uh, I know there's the school, there's the, there's the gun shop. Eventually I want to make my way over there, but I'm going to need a sledgehammer, and I I find it very hard to find a sledgehammer in the, uh, in the hardware store over here, so I'm kind of reluctant to do that, and I've obviously got to get out of here before night. See how much I got left in the gas tank. I've got, like, enough for about a trip to town and back from town, so I might want to make a stop at the gas station. Though this car is going to give out pretty fast if I keep bumping into zombies like this. Eventually I'm going to do something to the gas tank. Now, my my memory of West Point isn't perfect, which I honestly like. I don't want to have a perfect memory of the town, because then that doesn't make the game fun for me. But I know that there's a gas station somewhere around here. 
Oh man, I, I gotta start avoiding the hordes instead of bumping into them. Well, I should also see if one of these other cards is a key, because it looks like these ones might last a bit longer. Oh, oops. Oops, oops. Take that out. You really never want to leave the key in the ignition, otherwise you just, like, lose the car. See, I don't see the key over here. I've heard that the key can be, like, in the... in the door, if I'm correct. I think that'd be kind of cool, like, just by opening the door you get the key. Oh, this one's got it in the ignition already. Nice. Oh, this car's got much better gas. Let's see how the rest of the vehicle's condition is. Uh, it's in slightly better condition, except for the windshield. Wow, look at them all over here. I kind of want to hit some of the stores before I get back, though. I want to see if I could get that sledgehammer, because getting in the gun shop would be a great early survival move. Um... Wow, look at all the hordes. Shoot. God, I'm really glad that I'm sick. Oh, shoot. Now it's starting to get dark. Maybe I had better get out of here. I mean, like, I could be dead meat if it gets dark and if they all suddenly attack, like if the sun sets. <laughs> wow. I've never played it like this. I'm so excited. Anyway, I could show you my new house if I do that, and I'll have enough gas to get back here tomorrow. I could recover my car, I just hope that they don't swarm the thing tonight. Yeah, it's taking me- look at how long it's taking me to get through them. Wow. Shoot. Either that or I could stop at the school for ten minutes. Now nah, they won't have a sledgehammer in there. Oh no, it looks like some of the night lights are starting to come on. I don't want them to follow me back. Alright, you know what? I'm beating it for tonight. I'm leaving. Oh shit! Wow, that looks like something out of Dead Rising. Wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, I've always dreamed of being able to play with, like, hordes this big and weapons this powerful. And it just seemed like that in all the other previous builds of Zomboid, you had been kind of forced to run away from any hordes that you saw like that. I'm just glad that you get a chance to, like, look at them now with, with cars in the mix. These cars look like they're in slightly better condition. I think I'd like to check one of these out. Well, this one's got no gas. It does look like a nice car, though. It's in good condition. And this one's also in very good condition. But also no gas. Wow, thank God that those are so far away from the hordes. I think that they can actually, like, hit themselves on them. So I don't know if those other cars will stay okay for very long, and it looks like they are starting to be active now at night. Can I just see? See one or two. Yeah, they're all active now. Wow, I got out of there just in time. I don't even know it. Alright, I'm gonna go retreat back to my own house. I know that there's a couple zombies there still. Uh, I, I didn't really get done with a lot on this run. I got a couple knives, most of which I used up. I got some kitchen supplies. Some of the first things that you really need, because I have to get better at cooking so that I can eventually cook with rotten ingredients. Um, and dang, this car is really slow. I guess the engine wasn't really as good as I thought. I was kind of spoiled with the other car, though. To be honest, though, I'm like, I'm really glad that they've put in a lot of variation with the cars, because a lot of them felt kind of like they were very similar, and now it's nice to see them all developing differently. Right here's the path. I always get lost on the way back to my house. All right, we just gotta go up here, and then this will eventually turn into like a gravel path, and that's gonna lead me right back home. Now I think I'm gonna stay outside for a while, cause I killed a few of the zombies in the houses. Oh, and yeah, it gets me a little bit faster too. Now I killed a couple of the zombies in the houses, but I do want to draw them all out because seeing as their smell is gonna repulse me and make me nauseous now, and it's gonna make my life just generally worse. If I killed them all in the houses? Oh, what have we here? Let's see what this is. Now, is there- a, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a way to tow cars eventually, cause... Oh, this thing is broken down. Wow, some of the cars even have like broken down- they like they feel like they've broken down when somebody was trying to escape in them. Yeah, like this door was unlocked, but maybe the guy locked his door cause he was getting- Man, imagine if they like scattered corpses about too, like in people's remains. I mean, it sounds morbid, but, like, 
I don't know, maybe it's just because the game, like, looks so cartoonish. Uh, not cartoonish, that's not the word I'm looking for. It, like, it's got a particular art style to it. Um, the adjective of which escapes me. But I really like that, though, because one of the things I know that they said they wanted to do with, like, animations and stuff is, um, you know, get, like, cops and other people, like, looking like that they were at their profession when they got killed and, like, um, or zombified, rather. And then, um, oh, let me do this here now. Is it H? No, what's, what's the horn button? I forget, honestly. I have to go check one second. Horn, horn, horn. I want to be able to do this forever from now on. Oh, Q, my bad. Yeah, I, I know that they wanted to put in, like, firefighters or something like that, or cops, uh, ambulance workers, something like this. Anyway, I remember reading this somewhere. Maybe it's not true. <laughs> if so, then, whoops. But it kind of brings the game to life more. All right, let's get out. And now... I'm surprised that they're not both charging at me. I do think that they have a little bit of speed differential, which I'm kind of okay with, because it brings the game to life more. I thought that they would all be sprinting at me. Uh, oh. Here we go. Right, these butter knives are not holding up. They don't make butter knives like they used to in my day. Alright, we gotta turn this thing off. Keep it from using up too much gas. Take that out. Head back over here. Uh, I, th I think I've decided to make this main house my base. It's got a lot of good windows to climb out of if anything should ever... I don't know. Turn south. It's also just bigger. It's got a good fireplace. Um, I like it. Those are the main reasons why I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna try to kill the other zombies in these other houses, though, because I want to feel safe tonight. I've got two butter knives left. And I drew out most of them, so now I'm gonna go get the last stragglers. I think there's a few left in here still. I gotta call them out. I think I've got a flashlight in here, too, somewhere, so let me just... This one to my secondary. This button for this. It's been a while. F? Oh no, it's already on. I do want to keep it on. It's been a while since I last used the Zomboid flashlight. It's been a while. It doesn't feel like I've survived enough lights. Uh, nights. Of course I've survived lights. Uh, nothing in there. I think I left some in this bedroom. Maybe not? I think I drew those ones out. Yeah, I drew them into the bathroom. Oh, here was one. Or maybe she ran in from outside. Now, I don't really care if I kill them in this house, because eventually I'm going to clear out this house. Eventually I'll, you know, take away the bodies, burn them away. Um, and it'll be safer. Though I do want to, I mean, like, I'm going to make it my goal to wall in this whole area, and maybe even, like, right up to the river. Because I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, it could be that in... A month from now, a horde migrate. Like, if I should be lucky enough to survive that long, um, a horde migration might happen over here. Hmm. None over there. Okay, let's check upstairs again. Alright, coast is clear. Check the bathroom or closet. And I've got, like, one more room to check. Okay, anybody in here? I should really call them out even still, because they would run at me. Oh, yeah, there's one. I mean, like, what if there were three in a room? Then I'd be dead. That's how I actually died on my last save file. So I gotta be really careful about that. Oh, wow. That wasn't safe. Oh, I gotta get out of here for a second and just get some distance between me and them. Uh. uh okay. Butter knife. I've got three to kill. Yeah, if I get swarmed by these things, though, I'm still dead. That's always the case. When they're sprinting, they can really surprise you like that. All right. Two more, I think, up here. I just want them out of the way. Now, where'd they go? I gotta listen to the yells. Ah, shit. Okay. Was that it? I think there was one more. Unless if I counted wrong. Is there one more in here? I gotta be super careful here. Come on. Is it, were they behind that corner? I feel like the little kid looking through a, like a room in the dark, you know? 
Like, looking behind everything, thinking that there's an evil clown somewhere in the house. But there actually is this time. Alright, I guess, I guess that the coast's clear. Um, otherwise I'm gonna wake up to a rude awakening. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I just miscounted or I killed that zombie. Oh, my vision has severely gone down. I'm hungry, and I've got a heavy load, so I'd better unpack some of this stuff. I'm going to try to eventually, like, doubly seal myself off so that if there is any kind of threat, I would be warned of it long before it, it came in to kill me. Um, well, we won't worry too much about that right now. So I'm going to drop all this. I'm just going to drop most of this stuff, uh, uh, stuff off. Take that down. Wrench I don't need. I can put these on my key ring. Throw all of this on the ground. I'm just not even being very organized right now. Turn off the flashlight and I'm going to drop it because I won't need it for a while. I'll equip. And drop that on the ground. Now let me drop one of these water bottles and I'll just pick one of them up. Grab half. There we go. Now I guess I'm going to eat some of the perishables first because what if the power goes off tomorrow? I'd like to use these ingredients, but... Well, I don't think I did too bad today. I mean, you know, I got rid of, um... I, I, I killed a few. Um, that's pretty good. And I've also got the respawning set to zero, so I'm not going to have any respawning. Um, so it is like a permanent victory anytime that I take one out. Oh, wow, it is dark in here. Uh, and I did all right. You know, I made it another day. Made it through day one. And have a good rest now. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Project Zomboid. I am Legend. Alright.